Okay, let's go, everybody. What about my sweat equity? Sweat equity. Sweat, 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 sweat equity. My sweat equity. Uh. My, my sweat equity. Nobody else feels like dancing today. Cool. Are we supposed to dance? Yeah. What about my sweat equity? It's supposed to be contagious. Is it? I mean, the music. It I was s- weird. I wanted to dance, but I didn't know if that was against the rules. No, there's no rules. That it's other like male voice you're hearing that's not uh, myself or Eric River is uh, John J. Murray from Something Planet Podcast. Hey, how's it going? Good. It's going good. And you've got a band now. What's the name I'm of the band? Swampland Symphony. I'm in a band. I, I do stand up comedy. I, I, uh, I'm an audiobook narrator. I. Uh, what is the audiobook? I want to go on, buy it, and give it five stars. I uh, I don't know if I want to reveal. I don't know. I, I might I might keep this one a secret. Cause, uh, it's called Ted Bundy was uh, Ted <laughs> was wrongfully accused. Sings the hits. <laughs> he Ted, Ted he didn't Bund- he didn't write it, but he really loved it and asked if he could. Ted Bundy sings Sinatra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ted Bundy, not a bad guy. That was that's the, <laughs> that's the subtitle. He was so handsome. <laughs> He wasn't that good looking. He had a unibrow. These women, they were just horny. I think it was the 70s. And yeah, they got everyone, away with a everyone lot. Everyone had a unibrow back then, so it was fun. And that female voice you're hearing, female voice you're hearing, uh, is Melissa Golden coming back so quickly because we had a lot more stem cell questions, and she gave us shirts that we're wearing if you're watching on video. They're legit. They're legit. Uh, they feel good. This is the kind of... High quality. They look good. Can we bitch about t-shirts for a second? Because... People fuck this up all the time, like giving away for businesses, right? Okay, the, I always bitch about t-shirts. Well, or merch in general, but merch the t-shirt. Well, a lot of people's merch is pretty messed up. The t-shirt is ubiquitous, though. I feel like with mm-hmm. a lot of companies, and they here's my thing with a lot of them: don't be the five K shirt. Nine thousand logos, <laughs> can't read it. Exactly. You got Did like you read hash- the fine print on the back of the There's t-shirt? A hashtag on the sleeve. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well. Um, but oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, they look like <laughs> European soccer jerseys. I've got one like Tupac's tattoos right now, so I can't <laughs> I can't uh, talk about a hashtag so much as I'm I'm sporting one. But I'm saying like the 5K T-shirt is the worst. It's the worst thing. You don't know what to do with it. You can't even use it as a car rag later because it's such a piece of shit. <laughs> it comes yeah, all the letters real. come off and it scrapes your paint. Yeah, like, you have. <laughs> 400, you have like... You just wear it while you're changing your oil. That's the only time. I, I don't even know what to do with it. You feel wasteful if you throw it away. And then like, if you give it to Goodwill, I'm like, no one's buying that. Like, no, nobody wants it. And then that, and then homeless guys are like, fuck that. I don't and they didn't that. earn it either. They right. didn't run that 5K. Exactly. They're fuck sitting them. Sitting around. But I'm saying like, it's always a Hanes beefy tee with the sleeves that go over your elbows. Mm-hmm. So you Those look are- like a midget. Because they <laughs> like, want to order 5,000 extra larges and or, just be done with it. Or, Gil- mediums. or Gildan, uh, like, I forget what they call theirs, but Majestic. maybe maybe a Russell. Those three are, like, the worst. It's like, yeah, the Gildan, the Gildan ones, those are good for, like, sanding, like, sa- like fine <laughs> sanding wood, you know? <laughs> so when people are getting sponsorships, they're like, oh, we'll put you on the shirt. And it's like, oh, cool, with an eye test of all these logos, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. All don't right. do that. Don't be the five K shirt guy. I think when you when it, and don't you, ever wear it like you're proud of it. It's a five K, <laughs> by the way. I think when when yeah, making K and above shirt, only. We know you half walked it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're wearing it like legit, like you half walked that shit. Yeah, that yeah. Five K is nothing. When, when making the shirt for your company or your you know your your you know stand up comedy or your band or whatever, you have to when when you're making the shirt, you have to look at it and be like, would I wear that more than five times? Right. Right. Like, would I wear that at? Would it, like I would I wear that to any place other than Walmart? Yeah. You know. Could I cut the bottom part off and make it into like one of those old school football undershirts? They wear under where your my pads. Be- yeah. <laughs> where my belly button shows. Yeah. <laughs> had a couple of those a, in high school. That was a big one in that the eighties. That was 80s. a good look. Yeah. JP good had look. that. Forgot about him. Behind Sitting the glass. Back there. Shout out to our yeah. producer. He'll respond in ten minutes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Tell us about your belly shirts from high school. <laughs> I didn't have day. belly shirts. Yes, you did. I remember. But John Paul could hit like a motherfucker. I mean, Stand up low center see of gravity. Right now. Let's see. Let's see. I, the belly shirt I right did now. not like getting hit by that guy. Still don't. It's a belly joke. Okay, he's gonna stand up. He's not gonna show us his belly. He's All right. Gonna, I just want to no. see how this is, well can the shirt you talk goes. With the guests and tell us what they do. I still don't know what stem cell lady does. Does. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you're never I've got a fucking delay. You're not gonna figure it this out. This is why he's not <laughs> on the mic so much. 
Do, hey, lady. I regret. I regret. <laughs> lady with glasses. What does she do? Smart lady. <laughs> I've got a delay on my microphone. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. stop you from calling her stem cell lady. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. So we, ha- we had you on. We had so many more questions about stem cells after you left. I was like, ah, uh, I still don't understand everything. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you about is, is it worth, if you have a kid, uh, is it worth saving the cord blood for that purpose? Ooh, okay. So that's a really touchy subject. Is it de- a divisive so kind of thing? If you are going to bank the cells, which means they have the ability to be grown later, it's always a great idea. Okay. But if you're just storing them in a random freezer and they're like, all right, this might help you later. Wait, people do that? I didn't even think that was well, an option. Well, you got to pay to I, have it stored so or used properly. There's a lot of... Don't s- take the cord and put it in a Ziploc gallon bag and <laughs> stick it in the deep freezer. Don't do that. Don't do... Okay. Also, don't, don't make do it... that with your placenta. <laughs> okay. I did that because I thought I was going to send it to some place so they can turn it into like pills so you Cake. can eat it. Okay. Oh. And then it just got like... Uh, What's the freezer burnt? It got freezer burnt in the freezer, Ooh, and it looked like likes. I had like a gross dead body part. <laughs> <laughs> in my it really is so gross. I have back to the question. <laughs> back to the question. If they're just storing it, it's not really worth your time. But if they can bank it, that's the term, stem cell bank. If they can bank it and grow it for later use, then that's a great idea. So the option to just put it in your freezer was never in my head. <laughs> no, not your freezer. A company's freezer. Oh, but okay, <laughs> but banking it. I don't. I still don't know the difference. Banking it. It, so they grow it. Is that what you said? Yeah. Then or, the banking process is storage and growth. And okay. there's very select places, labs that can do that inside the U.S. They have to be regulated by the FDA. Um, but if it's just a storage of the specimen, that's not a good option. For later technologies is the idea. Like, oh, you can, you'll be able to do this at your house one day and then we'll ship it back to you or something. I hope not. I hope that's not what they're pitching. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, what would they be pitching? So just uh, we're going to hold it. Button my, and it gives you a pill, and then all of Eric's hair grows back. My good buddies. Uh, <laughs> my good buddies. Happen. Watch it you with the happen. hair there, buddy. See, I'm owning it. My, See my, how I'm not fighting the fight anymore. I have a couple of good buddies that own a company that does this. They told me about it a while ago, and they said it, it's more for when the child later in life, if, if, if the technology could – they've had it for 10 years, the business. Mm-hmm. So they were kind of banking on that the technology would kind of reach a, a level at a consumer level kind of thing mm-hmm. where it is kind of right now where it is attainable to get this, this done. So it's basically like trying to bank it for them for future use if they need it kind of thing. It's true that you're only as young as your stem cells are. Okay. Um, so like I had my stem cells extracted and banked and I use them annually, but I have like 22 year old stem cells, which is great. So I can always have 22 year old me injected in my veins. Cool. Oh, that's diabolical. Right? Wow. I'm going to live forever. So you guys might've covered this in a previous <laughs> podcast, but what exactly is that doing? You getting the stem cells injected into you? So stem cells reduce inflammation and okay. grow new tissue. So your organs age just like your face does. Um, So what I'm doing is definitely elective. It's it's you know it's anti aging protocol, but I just don't want to. Don't tell me you're like 53 right now. I'm solid 90, (laughs) solid 90. Um, But we mostly use it for chronic conditions. Okay, so like you you got you got a get a bad knee. Your knee is inflamed all the time, and okay, that that makes sense. Yeah. So the cord blood we uh we were gonna do that for our oldest and forgot like. (laughs) In, I'm like in the delivery room. I'm like, there's some important I was supposed to bring to the hospital, and I was Are you like, gonna put it in like a jar. Oh uh, shit! No, they send you like a box. Oh, okay. Which is there's you know, it's got to like yeah, exactly. And I was like, oh, we'll just use it for our next kid. And then the next kid came along. I was like, well, we can't have his stuff sitting around and let him be a superhuman, not let the older one do it. And then we we're just like, well, we can't. That would be bad parenting. <laughs> they got their hundred dollars or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. The, the first kid is just like, oh wow, they really, they really don't love me. Yeah, <laughs> I don't wait. I don't get that logic of not getting it for the second kid. Like, it's just like, it's great if you have it. No. If something goes bad, no, no, we didn't, no we didn't it's get like buying the first kid. They got to be on the even footing. Kid a Mercedes, like that's not yeah. nice. Well, but also, well, they a made nice a mistake. <laughs> like, it, why does the other kid have to suffer from it? It's not like he's a boy for it's, one, it's, and he's a you know man up. No stem cell bullshit. Okay. Look, that's that's hard with uh, the parenting stuff. Nah, he's tough. They remind him all the time, I'm sure. He's four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, actually, today's his fourth birthday. I Happy birthday, birthday buddy. Happy Could have lived birthday. forever, but I was too lazy to bring the box. <laughs> have you tried to put it on the podcast for him before? What? Like, uh, put it on Roku. We're on Roku. Oh, make him like, watch it? No. Yeah. <laughs> and see if, like, and see if it, like, no, I just want to see how much they don't care. 
Like, oh, I, they don't care at all. <laughs> yeah, they're. I'm like, Dad's on TV. Look, and I try, try to trick him. Like, we're, and I put it on YouTube or whatever. They're like, and they're like, You did that. I want Baby Shark. That's all I want to see. Like, my kid saw me on TV, and he was like, "That's mommy." So I think my kid is better than yours. Yeah, yeah that's probably. What we're I doing, mean, you're yeah, a scientist. I guess that's so. <laughs> that's how parents talk, right? <laughs> Most of the time. I, I, yeah, I don't have any kids. I just been saving them in my freezer and <laughs> gallon oh, bags. Jesus. Just, as they're born, I put them in a be- and then I'm saving them for later. I you thought know? you were done jizzing into popsicle He's starting things. a business yeah, it's oh. a business it's semen a business. banking yeah. it's in the swamps you can of totally get paid for that yeah. you can just go get paid for that it'll be fine yeah huh. so don't put it in your freezer 50 put bucks it in a load freezer. something like that 50 bucks isn't it I think they should pay I've a never bit done more it. I don't know <laughs> for the chance of a child yeah I agree it should be, it should be more yeah. we should a have a guest more. who runs one of those fertility clinics tell us how much a cup of sperm is i don't want their shirts we could do a call in <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta fill it up all the way though it's gotta be a full full cup new record <laughs> uh wow this derailed pretty quickly uh so and plus i was looking at john j murray with uh i was like if you now i'm thinking it's benjamin button that's where my head goes with stem cells i was like he'll look like bucko bruce the old bucks logo in no time uh yeah, i just gotta i just gotta de-age a little bit it's just the goatee uh yeah. all right so Stem cells, the business of stem cells, like, is blown up, right? And so, h- how how does that look on an industry wide kind of thing? Because there's got to be jabronis out there, as or just imposter kind of um, any anything that's lucrative in in the tech and health field. That's kind of a mixture of both. I feel like there's always just people that don't know what they're doing. Certainly. What what's that look like? Like. If you, people are looking to do this, what should they look out for in a company? So you should definitely find out who the medical doctor is mm-hmm. or are on staff. Um, it is a medical procedure. You need to have board certified physicians there. There's a guy holding a couple crystals. Maybe be maybe look. Not up. that guy. That's <laughs> don't go to that guy. And then you want to you know check t- patient testimonials and make sure that they've been around for more than six months. So with a emerging field like this, I've been in it for seven years and. When I started, people were like, oh, no, stem cells. And now everyone wants to be in it because right. they're saying, oh, man, that's crazy. It's changing healthcare. It's, you know, um, cash based healthcare. So people say, oh, quick buck. So now the stem cell industry gets this rap for, you know, people who open up an office, sell a bunch of stem cell procedures, and then disappear six months later. Oh, like a burn and churn kind of thing. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Like these pain clinics in Florida that kind of did that for a while. Get the insurance, uh, I guess, yeah, get insurance money out of it from mm-hmm. old people in Florida. There's all kinds of beauty treatments that take advantage of old folks as well. You know, they st- they open up a clinic and, you know, get these injections in your face. So don't worry. It's going to take. Just give it a couple of months and then they're gone. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I actually had a, a re- retired Coast Guard guy, 75, 76 years old. And because um, he had to pay cash for health care, we like, asked for I need to get on Tinder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying to throw some old I'm dick around. To donate my sperm. <laughs> Stop it. Not sperm. <laughs> okay. So um, we asked him to leave a deposit to hold his procedure date. And he's like, well, how do I know that you guys are still going to be there? I'm like, well, what? And he explained that he was very wary of cash-based health care because they come and go so often. And that was my first real experience with that, people thinking that we were that way. And I'm like, dude, our office is legit. Super like just, super just, was that your answer? Yeah, I was like, hey oh, dude, <laughs> hey Coast Guard dude, uh, <laughs> hey dude, bro, we're super legit. legit. <laughs> Please believe me. I know everybody else is narnar, but uh, <laughs> we're we're like this legit kind of company. Just look at us up on Craigslist. Um, I know you probably said it more eloquently. Thanks for coming on. By the way, you didn't know until today, really. But uh, so I, I'll. I'll uh, give you that pass for that <laughs> that kind of yeah. answer. Of guess, love that. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's a it's an interesting area. I've been asking around about some of my friends that did like, like just this whole kind of uh, what can you do uh, without having to get kind of the doctor's prescription for for something to help uh, to help you out. So like. I was thinking about you go to a, a lot of doctors or go go to a specialist. And then the specialist, if he's a surgeon, he'll usually want to cut you open in a lot of ways. And we kind of touched on this when you were here last time. Uh, I mean, tell us about any of that kind of stuff where surgeons always just want to go, yep, let's cut you open. I got the ego to do it. They won't say that, but they'll, 
that's what they want to do every time, right? And so not every time, or, um, um, but. For the most generally. part, that's generally what we see, right? Yeah. So if you're a trained surgeon, you do surgery because that's what you're trained to do. And you only have the tools in your toolbox. I am a firm believer that 99.999% of doctors are good doctors with good intentions. Um, but if you don't go out of your way to learn about regenerative medicine, which is not required in medical school, not required for continuing education, you know, why would you go out of your way and pay thousands and thousands of dollars for something if you don't have to? So a lot of times I get patients that come in and they say, hey, if this actually works, why didn't my doctor tell me about it? And I'm like, probably because your doctor doesn't know about it because he didn't pay to know about it. It's definitely knowledge that you have to seek out and pay for at a high level. So not everyone wants to cut everyone open, but I really think that you just only have the tools that that you've been given. So can most like uh, general physicians get this, I don't know if it's like a continuing education thing or like a certification or how does it work? If you say I'm yeah, a doctor certainly. and I was like, I want to get into that. How would they do it? Yeah. Cause like plastic surgeons have like a, like an association of, you know, plastic surgeons and psychiatrists have, you know, their mm -hmm. thing. So is there something for nice? Yes. Yeah, so regenerative <laughs> medicine does not have its own specialty and its own boards as of yet. Um, but that's what you would label this. It's kind of like a specialty in regenerative medicine. And any doctor who's interested in it, there's multiple ways to get trained. We're associated with U.S. Stem Cell Clinic. They have a training program uh, you pay to attend. They offer support. It's a, you know, 16 hour post um, doctorate course that I've taken probably over a dozen times at this point. Um, but it's still hoping to pass it, huh? Yeah. No, I <laughs> pass it every time, every time. Um, but it's just, it's just looking out for additional education. Yeah. You've got a, you've got a, a motor that makes me embarrassed uh, when you're telling me all your stuff you're doing. Cause that is, you're doing a lot of stuff. So, well, I didn't bring my self esteem folder today okay. to show everyone. I didn't bring it. You didn't bring it. No. no. Okay. Uh, oh, I want to hear about that. File cabinet. What's a self esteem folder. <laughs> I think I need one of those. It's like a dream board. Is it board. like a vision board? <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, so I showed up to B&I where we networked together, and I had a um, folder with all of the awards that I've gotten in B&I just <laughs> to show them to law. And he said, oh, what's so that, your self-esteem folder? You got to carry that everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and then I drew a penis on it for no reason. Because <laughs> it's like high school to me. <laughs> Because I can't pay attention for an hour and a half. <laughs> well, well, I try to. Whoever I'm sitting next to has to hear me whisper a bunch of weird shit the whole time. So. I, that's why well, I know that's why you want me to join the thing. No, I, I want to hear your dad. Be jokes. I want that, you on like, the other side doing that to someone else. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> They're not going to get it. No, I just think it's better for you to do it for for y'all's practice than anything. That's that's all. I, I, mm -hmm. when he people, just wants me to have to hear these stupid jokes all day. <laughs> I, I, he just no. wants you to laugh at it. You jokes. have to hear him already. <laughs> You mean not laugh? Because <laughs> that's... This will be me. Right. You can keep the soundboard there <laughs> if you want. Can I, I just, can bring the soundboard with the snoring effects? It has to be out loud so just, everybody yeah, can hear you it. Just, yeah. You just play sound That'd effects. That'd actually be really so funny. <laughs> while, people are, while people are presenting, you play like, uh, you know, like fart noises. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Every time point. I get an award, you can play that, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. <laughs> the whole meeting should have... A lot of meetings should have a soundboard now that I think about it. I know. Like it really... <laughs> Or just a guy there doing it. All right, quarterly reports. Uh, we're up. Uh, <laughs> our revenue's up over here, and um, totally. <laughs> what? Totally. I'm trying to automate the whole podcast, <laughs> nice. so I got all my uh, my sayings here. See, si. see. Si. You know, if I'm talking Spanish to somebody, <laughs> what? And they say yes. You're working yourself out of a job, man. <laughs> These are the ones totally. you added. <laughs> just totally and see. Si. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the microphone popping. <laughs> I didn't give a shit, obviously. That doesn't even sound like you, though. <laughs> it is. Well, yeah. <laughs> I actually yeah, paid a guy $1,200 like a... to do voiceover impression of me. Totally yeah, worth it. It sounds like the um, totally. like talk-to-text type thing. <laughs> it's definitely me, guys. Yeah, it doesn't even sound like you. It sounds like a robot. Yeah, it sounds like the old shitty, like old... School '90s in the future. This is how robots talk to you. Voice, yeah. speak and spell. Well, you know, yeah. I'm trying to work on my voiceover game. I was a little more bassy in those. How do you get in the voiceover game? The voiceover game. Uh, there's, you know, it's it's a lot easier now than it used to be because I remember I tried to get into it like I don't know, maybe like 15 years ago, and it was just like super complicated. But now there's just like a ton of marketplaces where it's basically just like making a LinkedIn profile. Is it like Fiverr? Can you voice over on Fiverr? You sure. can voice over on yeah, Fiverr, yeah. 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 I mean, I don't because I want more than $5, but <laughs> you can do it. But you can yeah, do there's children's just a, books on there's Fiverr. There's a bunch of marketplaces where you can just like record yourself speaking. 
Uh-huh. And uh, it's basically like a little audition or something. And then you just have like your, it's like a LinkedIn style profile that people can search through and be like, hey, you sound like you'd be good for fetish-y. this thing. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope this <laughs> gets chopped up. Like he tr- they tricked him into a children's book and reading it. And it's like, it really chops up into like I a mean, real nasty fetish Mein-Kampf. thing or something. I mean, I would yeah. read. I, I, what I, did I read? Mein Kampf is read by John J. <laughs> I, I feel. I, I feel like I would do the nasty fetish thing if they just asked. That's just more work. Yeah, to I don't chop care. It up. Like, I'll read whatever you want me to read. Well, don't say- trick me into it, okay? <laughs> Just yeah. like real life finish. There's a what was the don't website? Don't drop a digit in my ass. Just yeah, ask. Don't, don't trick me into it. Just tell me what you want, and I'm gonna get. I'll get as sensual as possible. You know. <laughs> do sensual. you want to share the website that you were talking about? Uh, or do you a- want to? ACX is like the main one I use. That's the main one for like audio books. Letters A C X. ACX dot com. Not AC sex. <laughs> And that's run fetish. by uh, that's run by that's Amazon. <laughs> is that an AC Slater erotica site? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, card shark. <laughs> card sharks. Uh, well, so is this thing on? Yeah, with Fiverr, actually, you can do it with a lot with Fiverr that we haven't really talked about on here. I don't think too much. I so I got. I remember Brit- you, you got me on Fiverr years ago, and that's kind of how I like supplemented my income for like two years. Really, off of Fiverr? Yeah. Wow, that that's awesome. I had no idea. Five uh, bucks at a time. I didn't know you used it that much to get work. That's well, I w- I just you know wrote a bunch of copy for like websites and sure. stuff like that, just like easy stuff where you can knock out. It's just like you know fifteen twenty bucks at a time. You know, that's what I kind of tell people who are like, man, I don't know what to do now. Like the gig economy, you can like like co- all the comics that ask me. I have a lot of comics that ask me like, what can I do to like do something in, uh, on top of doing stand up and this right. other shitty go- job I'm doing? I hate. I might go on Upwork or Fiverr and like create a profile. You can write content like that's easy. It's not, yeah, that's not. It's not creative writing. Really. No, no, you don't have to be funny. <laughs> no, just, yeah, you're not pu- doing punch up. They're just like uh, 150 words about this subject. Well, that's, 500, but yeah, yeah. or what, 300 at least. No, for five bucks, it's like 150 words. Is it? Is yeah. that the, the uh, that's rate? That's usually kind of like people's the going homework. I could. I mean, for you the probably right were Is doing people's illegal? homework. <laughs> there used to be a site that would do your term papers for you because I remember, I remember really debating it with like the last money I had in college or something. I was yeah. like, Oh man, is this site legit or do not? I, I don't graduate. Know. I have written someone's term paper before, but it was it was for a basic basic community college class. It was. No, those it was don't like count. Really, it was like a really well, easy term paper. I'm like, those. Really, you want me to write this? this is, Can you <laughs> do the voiceover reading that? <laughs> And we'll voice play it when uh, we'll just play it the recording. <laughs> I want to I want to see how paper. good this paper is. <laughs> You're gonna I, be ju- so judged. I could I could look through my my old files. Ooh, that'll be compelling. I wrote a term paper What's on the term? movie Heather's. <laughs> <laughs> term paper about Heather's from uh, 2007. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so Actually looking it up. Fiverr, <laughs> Fiverr for those out there that something need, happened. Are we still oh, we're still going right? I assume so. I don't know. He's hitting buttons. Emerging. Live stream went uh, down. Whoa. We're back from our break, everyone. Back to the compelling talk. What about... Um, All right, so... Uh, let's talk CRISPR. I want to yeah, hear your thoughts on that. Uh, I know Eric and I have talked about it randomly. Um, when... What is it? This American Life? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, what is the... Okay, what is the... Um, he just drew a dick on my fucking... I, I had to. Perfect. Compelling. What... <laughs> oh... A CRISPR is a way of, uh, it's kind of a Gattaca thing, right? Where you can go in and change the DNA uh, of your kids before they're born, right? Is that is I, that how it works? I think so. I'm well, it, you could you know, also it could also be used to like cure. I think while you're still alive. Yeah, I, I don't think, think you have idea. to be uh, uh, semen. Yeah, no, I be. think you're still alive. Like you movie. have like you mean a genetic perhaps embryos. Yeah. Embryos, that's what they're called. Maybe just semen. not semen. You don't have to be a semen. Uh, that's my semen in my wife's belly there. That's inappropriate. <laughs> Are we back from You're our break? Yes, yeah. we've been I, back. I hope we're I'm back. kidding. I'm, jo- I'm totally joking. So I just wanted to let that le- I wanted to let that live out there. He's on the CRISPR's website. He's I just ordering wanted to look food. it up. Oh, yeah, CRISPR. It's, <laughs> oh, this is a salad spot. What am I doing? Yeah, it's, next it's just to a public. confection <laughs> oven to make uh, oilless fried chicken. That's um, what CRISPR is. Mm. Um, so CRISPR, without the E, they do it like uh, an app. But um, it changes It can. It can. changes DNA sequences, it looks like. I can read from here. Uh, mm-hmm. Is that, for you, what do you feel about that? Is that good, bad, ugly? Any thoughts? Okay, total, total opinion here. 
Um, I'm not a geneticist. I don't have a mad science lab. The stuff that we do with stem cells is nowhere near that advanced. So I always like to make that, um, you know, different differentiation right there. But as far as like changing eye color of your babies, choosing the sex of your babies, I think it's great for science as an advancement, but as like a person, I think that's it's scary creepy, right? AF. Yeah. Right? Um, have you guys, when I was in high school, there that was some- as fuck for the kids out there. Yeah, for, for the kids. Mm -hmm. um, I read some books. It was a series that was called The Pretties, The Uglies, The Whatever, and it was just about how- I remember those books. Did you read them? I did not, but I, I do remember seeing other people read them. Okay, so they were written for, um, it was like- Teenagers, you know, mm -hmm. like the Twilight yeah, young, stuff. Young adult. Young adult. YA. And it was all about how the rich society had all these cures for diseases and were all beautiful because they were genetically engineered to be so. And then they lived like in this perfect little society and all the people without money lived outside there. And they had, you know, like they were ugly. asymmetry. And, you know, they were still, some of them were still very attractive, but they weren't symmetrical and genetically made beautiful. And so I just think, like, me. Mm -hmm. like you, yeah. right? So when One I, eye's lower than the other. Yeah. <laughs> now it? I can't mm -hmm. stop seeing it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's the FedEx era now. Yeah. Um, so now, now when I see stuff like that, all I do is think like George Orwell, nineteen eighty four, and that book. Like that's all I think about when people start talking yeah. about changing there, eye color. Because there's no stopping as to be like, well, if I'm gonna change his eye color, you know, I'm gonna make his dick big. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, Whoa, like you're gonna be like, please don't talk about babies that, that way. That will that's be the third. Weird. Weird. <laughs> That will be like third on the list. Trust it's me. like the movie Elysium. The, all the dads will be like, huh? Carbon or whatever. Yeah, where they're, they're living up in the sky, and the the dude's like four hundred years old, but he looks forty one. You know, I'm like, just super weirded out by it. Like I, I I'm all for advancements, but not like it's just too close to home. There's going to be some weird legislation that's going to have to come about where it's like you can do this and this, but you can't do that because it's too much. Yeah, so what that is, I don't know. Who gets to make those choices? Exactly. Who but they're going to be making them. To make Somebody's going to make those choices. choices. Exactly. Lobbyists are real. That's why like, it's scary, yeah. White I mean, men, the coolest guys in society. <laughs> yeah. Those yeah. are the old white men. The choices. Yeah. As yes, they should. It's not their bodies. <laughs> it's like, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right, guys? So I'm going to have They're one, able to I'm step gonna, out of the situation. I'm have one kid that's a doctor, and the other kid is going to be a football player and a baseball player at the same time. I'm yeah. just, you know. You're right. It, when, when new technology comes in, we tend to fuck it up uh, in, in this country for, for whatever, for fear, basically, I think. And, uh, and then there's, there's opportunistic things like that for the lob whatever lobbying community wants to bank roll on it or get the state involved to get get that funding from it or like uh regulate it so that there is an indirect way can it benefit something like that instead of letting business because i'm a capitalistic boner man i like free markets let the free market decide you'll de you'll decide anyway kind of like legalizing weed or le or uh, decriminalizing it it'll happen whether you want it to or not i'm sure that's why you went to panama to get stem cells before you could do it now? Yeah, people were much more afraid of the stem cell thing, say, like 10, 12 years ago, right? You're not it protecting was the 90s. anybody. It was yeah. the 90s, Bush, Dolly the Sheep, abortion. Like, all that just right, came that, together, and we're like, no dead babies. Nope. And that's not even what we're doing. Yeah, how did, I, how did that even get tied in with, with uh, that process is kind of insane, because I, the more I think about the media, it's like, Wow, there is just so much misinformation, disinformation. I thought it was recently, like the last 10 years. This might have been like the last 30 years. Conspiracies. Conspiracy. But, <laughs> but really, it's, they, have to, they have to sell ads, so it's not really news. Uh, that's, that's how the news works, and they have to sell clicks. I'm not on the conspiracy train so much so with the stem cell stuff in the media. No. Because what they were talking about was legit, embryonic stem cells that come from you know, the four to five day old blastocyst, but we found stem cells in other places. So that was such a huge, big, like PR stink well, I mean, if you're going to have now, we have to fight it. If you're going to have those ones, it's like you might as well, you might as well use all the ones that are available, right? Like why throw anything in the trash? Didn't right? we say last time, the ones that have been found that are not embryonic are actually better. Uh, they're more easily they're used safer. or they're more effective. They're safer. Um, so the ones that come from the blastocyst, they can turn into any type of cell, including cancer cells. So oh, they're, okay. they can, uncontrolled growth could be a problem. Mm -hmm. um, also, there's the ethical concern because of the baby stuff. Um, so it's actually totally fine to use adult stem cells and they're incredibly effective. Um, the younger cells are better, if you want to call it that. They grow faster, um, but there's just more risk associated with stuff that comes from 
embryos. We haven't researched enough on that, but the adult stem cells are they're legit. Well, it seems like <laughs> something that we should figure out at a certain point, right? They're doing like, all yeah. kinds of studies <laughs> on this it. Room? Get to that or what? <laughs> like, figure it out. Just, like, we, I, I don't, this, I, well, I don't think table. we should ignore it just because it gives it gives people a bad feeling, you know? We're not, there's, there's, there's tons of studies, but only certain people are allowed to do them. Right. And we don't talk about them because we don't want to get people all crazy about exactly. embryonic material. Hmm. Uh, Blastasis, I, if I'm ever an adult film star... And uh, that's my formal name. Um, Blast. You know how the people correct space me? assist. Like, I'm not a server. I'm, a, uh, I'm not. A, I'm not oh, a you're talking about as the title yeah, of your yeah. job. Oh, no, no, yeah, I don't want the movie because your blast assist today will be Todd right. Bricklayer. Right, exactly. <laughs> that's a long name, Todd Bricklayer. Uh, I think that you should incorrectly Larry insert Bayshore. that into many conversations from now on. That's a fun word to say. Wouldn't that be an interesting doing? word to use? Hey man, get your hands out of my blast assist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, what was that? Uh, wouldn't the fluffer be the blast assist? Uh, no, because they don't get any of the blast. They're assisting the blast. They're just they're just they're just wor- warming up. You know, they don't get any blast. Okay, blast helper. <laughs> hey guys, can I get serious? Nope. No, no. Just one question. He's gonna bring up a s- public sub. Or Here we go. Who's making the pig people? <laughs> See, I, I knew he was gonna get serious. <laughs> the what? The big people. Pig? No, he said pig people. Oh, the pig people. I think he's watched uh, an episode He's been of... watching Alex Jones. I think he watched... Is that what it was? Was it? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Who's <laughs> making the pig I, people? I think he watched an episode I of am a big uh, person. Black Mirror and thought it was real. He once told me that he thought mermaids were real because he saw a show about them. No, he was saying his sister thought they were real. He did not think they were real. Look, look. Okay, and then we pig called people his sister. are real. This was from... We did it live on the air on Something Planet, and we it called It was his Alex sister. Jones. <laughs> keep doing that voice, Law. Oh, I got it. What does he say about it? I don't even know. Big people. Look, look. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's 100 percent real. I'm saying I've got sources that you do not have. Okay. I've seen it with <gasps> my eyes. I can't tell you. I can't tell you who they are. I can't tell you because it, it's government secret, and you guys don't know about it. But there are pig people. Oink oink. Okay, they're <laughs> out there. All right. You guys don't know that. I do. Alex Jones. Infowars. I love doing that voice. It's, it's so good. good. You, you good, go right into it. It's a good I, voice. I need to get Perfect. my Gary V back too. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Okay. Uh, I don't think the Gary V is obvious enough because uh, people don't know who he is. You're uh, the I only one with like the boner for him. Everyone. Knows he's pretty. Who he is. Yeah, he's pretty famous. I think. We should see how many followers he about. has on on the internet right now. He's more than Alex a lot. Shows. I get it. I'm just saying. You know. Where'd you uh, get this pig people thing from? I don't think the impression is that good. I don't know anything about the pig people. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know if there's a pig people. Sounds conspiracy. weird, though. I'm pretty sure that's an episode of Black Mirror. Is that Black another Mirror, fetish? Actually. Pig people. That is an episode of Black Mirror, yeah. the very first no. one, and why I didn't continue watching it. was that, series. okay, that was... It took me a couple years to get over that first episode. No, it haunts me. Yeah. There was no pig person. <laughs> he was, was a pig and he a was people. Fucking, yeah, he was a, he the had to fuck the pig, and, you pig know, and he did it. It was not okay. Because he saved a life. They are going to make pig people. No, no. Well, oh, you know, I think he's talking about um, there. There is some research going on right now is uh, trying to grow organs inside of uh, pigs, like yeah. grow like replacement You're organs. Opening inside a whole of pigs, right? new can. Well, of pigs. no, that I did not know about. Okay, no. So I was talking about the Black Mirror episode. I'm gonna have to deal with this later. John Paul, yeah. thank you for moving the conversation <laughs> forward with that question. What about my sweat equity? <laughs> On that note, we're out. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. Best episode my ever. Sweat equity. Crossfire. You've been in the crossfire. Sweat equity. What about my sweat equity?